So are we overplaying this whole narrative that they're going to make a seismic change, like a la Matthew Kachuk? Like, if this was a beautiful world of Tinder, does it come down to Mitch Marner and Nylander? Who's swiping right? Who's swiping left here? Well, first of all, where did all this Mitch Marner stuff come from in terms of, like, him or Nylander? Mitch Marner is the better player, bar none. It's not, it's not a question. I don't understand the narrative that there's all this pooping all over, all over Mitch for, for whatever the reason. If you're training somebody, I mean, William Nylander is the guy that you look at and he has that value. He's got the value tied to it. He's, his value probably won't be higher. He could step into an environment on, a better, on another team, excuse me, in a better position as a full-time first-line guy, first power play guy, and put up some good numbers, some really, really good numbers. I just don't understand why he doesn't get more attention on that front versus everybody crapping all over over Mitch Marner. I, I don't get it.